Hey everybody, G-Bear out here, homesteading the desert again, and I'm going to update you. This is the May 30th, and it is 6.21 p.m. A little bit of clouds up in the sky, it says, but uh, I don't see them. But it is in the 90s all day. It's finally dropped down into the 80s. It's 82 right now, 25% humidity. But I was dealing with the winds all day. Um, it did get up to about 24 miles per hour. So working on ladders was not an option today. So my antenna didn't go up. My roofing didn't go on the chicken coop. My wire didn't go on top of the screened area. My wire didn't go on top of that screened area. But I did do some work. And I'll show you what I did do. By the way, I got my chicken out here thawing a little bit more before I throw it on the uh, barbecue. That's going on in a few minutes. I checked the water in the tub and it was lukewarm. Of course, I don't know why they say lukewarm because I thought Laura was hot. Ah, general hospital joke. Okay, moving down the, the street here. You can see my extension cord is running inside the container here. And you can see some things have been moved around here. Well, I moved the barrels out. I got my toolbox in the place where I said I was going to put it right inside the door. I've got to sort through it and, and organize it. I got my workbench in. I got all the drawers installed. I got my... Um, top on there. I, I doubled up on the 7 uh, OSB for the top on here uh, because I used the three quarter inch plywood on the chicken coop. But I also put a, a double power strip across the back so I have plenty of outlets. I mounted my small drill press on this side because sometimes I just need to do some quick drilling on some small items. I don't need to use the big drill press. Down here, I got my um, grinder and polishing wheel mounted, and it is bolted down. The bolts come up from underneath, and I got the nuts on there locking it down. Everything on here is all bolted down, so nothing's going to move. Uh, my stand unit here, the, uh, the grinder with the big wheels on it, this thing is really runs fast, 3,450 RPM. And when I shut it off, I can go have lunch and come back and the wheels are finally stopping. I do need to dress them a little bit. I got uh, some little grooves in there and some aluminum on here from some quick jobs I was doing earlier. Uh, these trays here are supposed to have, be full of these yellow boxes. I can't find those for the life of me. I don't know what box they're in. So temporarily, I put all of my uh, assorted little... Um, hardware boxes up here so I could get them sorted in and uh, down over there where I took all of these drawers out that are in my workbench I've got room in there now so I can move another one of those wooden shelves right on the other side there are actually two more shelves go over there and I can get a lot more stuff off this table and onto shelves and sort it out so I'm also going to put some shelves in between these two so that it triples the, the storage on those. And I've got to go through these and sort out all of this plumbing and get it into some of these boxes right here. I've got the plenty of these little boxes. So this area is going to be part of tomorrow's uh, work. I've got to get all of this thing cl cleaned out. That shelf has to go because there's going to be on this side, I'm going to have my, uh, my bender, my wood lathe, my big drill press over here. And then, oops, then down the line, this shelf with all the paint on it will move out of here. And, uh, I'm going to have my milling machine right there. So, that's where we stand right now. All these water bottles 
will be taken out of here. Two of these are going to go down by the garden shed and uh, there'll be backup water. Um, the other, the one that's going to be main for the, the garden shed is the one that's up there that used to serve the um, orchard. And since this orchard is all dead and I'm not going to replant here because this container now shades the orchard for half a day. So I don't want to do that. So I'll, I'll be moving things around. Most of my trees are going to be inside my garden house, as I said, to be protected from those little buggers that come out here and eat all the roots off of them. But that barrel up there is going to end up down on a pedestal by the garden shed. And uh, I will be able to um, transfer uh, captured rainwater that goes off the roof of the, the cabin. Um, for both sides, I'll be running that down to that barrel and keeping that one full when the rains do come. You can see I got my shelving here ready to go back in his side here. Um, I'm starting to sort things out. I've got this uh, rack that was given to me by my friend Vince. Uh, this is a kind of a lean leaning rack to store large items. I'm going to get that uh, put up and start storing stuff stuff on there, you know. So I've got to clean this area out, but one of the other things I got to do tomorrow is I have a bunch of uh, household stuff up on that shelf and I don't want household stuff up there because I'm going to be putting all my little uh, tray bins up there with my little electrical connectors and screws and washers and things like that. That whole shelf will be uh, dedicated to just those little plastic bins with the pull-out drawers. All of that stuff goes over to container number two, which is going to be all household um, and uh, some of my own private little stuff in there. But uh, that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. And remember, no stupid people past this point. And uh, I've, <laughs> I've got a lot of those little signs around that were handed to me over the years. I sure like them. But this is getting uh, uh, given me something to do with the wind blowing and I can work in here. I had a couple of electric fans running up there on the um, counter today, keeping me cool so I could work in there without uh, dying. I also strung a 12 volt light off of my solar controller here and, that, and that's a battery pack right inside that box and that light works so I can have light there. And also, I have these lights here that uh, also work, as you can see. And uh, I got another one over there, so I can light up my workbench and I can do some work after dark if I have to. So I'm going to be getting in here. I got to get my uh, my electric band saw set up tomorrow, and I got to cut all those corner guards that are going to go on the two back corners of my chicken coop to seal and protect those corners. And uh, if the wind dies tomorrow, I may run over there and try to get on the, uh, the roofing, at least on the, uh, the chicken coop, and get that sealed down. I'm not worried about rain coming right now. It uh, seems to be past that time of the season out here anyway. As you can see, clear blue skies and uh, just a, a few of those chemtrails over there. They sure like running those things across my sky. And I know it's not cold because it's hot down here. So anyway, another thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run into town this week and pick up the flooring for here. You see I have my gas pipe ready so I can get my gas pipe connected underneath. And then the, I, the piece that's cut off, I'll, I'll be running it across over to here. I did some measurements and I realized that I may be about four to five inches short. So I'm going to buy a second section of pipe to make sure I have enough. If I don't use it, I could always return it. So when I'm getting the plywood, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five total sheets because it's eight foot plus two foot. So the last sheet will be cut into two foot strips. So it'd be like an eight and a two, a two, 
an eight and a two, eight, two, two, eight. Eight, two, two, eight, back and forth. So they, they, they rotate. I may not have done that right. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and this wind is really driving me up a wall. But it's turning the turbine. That's what I care about, turning my little wind meter. And the, the power right now is up at 13 plus volts. So you can see the turbine is running slow because the brakes are on. I don't need any more voltage in there. Um, that's another job down the line is getting that dump load hooked up so I can use that extra electricity. And uh, I'll have hot water. This one is warm and, and beautiful. So I'm going to get my food cooking and then sit down in there and take a little soak for an hour while the food is doing its thing. I got to get some things cleaned up here. I'm tired of stepping over things and stepping around things, but I still have some work, woodworking to do. The, the router table I don't need anymore. Um, I don't want to put it in because I need it on a job down south, but I don't want to put it in now because it'll clutter up the van if I have to run into town and pick up materials. That's it. G-Bear signing off. I hope you all have a wonderful evening.